Wow. What a good follow-up to Ultimate Enemy. Like, not a great follow-up. This wasn't one of the best episodes, but it's still a pretty good follow-up. Uh, I certainly think it's a better follow-up than the last one we got to the last movie. Um, which that episode wasn't bad, but it just wasn't... It just wasn't a very good follow-up to a movie. This one is, um, uh, now that Jazz knows, now that Jazz knows, uh, she continues to try and help Danny, um, and, and she's just getting in his way. She just continues to get in his way, and, um, when he tells her to stop helping, uh, she decides to go try and bring down Vlad Plasmius in her own way. Of course, she gets captured. Danny uh, has to go save her, but then it looks like she might be working for Vlad, and sh uh, Vlad has given her um, <clears throat> the uh, <clears throat> the ecto suit. The one that was shown in Storm Rain. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, Danny is forced to fight his sister. And here, co here comes the dilemma I was talking about in parental bonding. He had the dilemma with Tucker when he had to fight him in What You Want. Now he's having that dilemma with Jazz when he has to fight her. Why didn't he have that dilemma, that refusal to fight in parental bonding? You could just as easily cut out that stupid subplot with Danny's dad. You could have done that. That would have been fine. Nobody would have noticed if that was gone. So... I'm sorry, I, I know I'm still lingering on that, but it just bugs me because Sam is the love interest. Sam's the love interest, and yet you don't have that thing. Like, yeah! <sighs> so, uh, they find a way to beat him. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting what they do. Um, I won't spoil it for you. I'll let you go watch it for yourself, but let's just say it's incredibly satisfying. Um, uh, the Ecto suit is destroyed, so we won't be hearing from that, we won't be hearing from that thing ever again. Uh, the only thing it didn't answer is, what about the Fright Night? Because Vlad had made some kind of pact with the Fright Knight or something. What happened to that? Where's the Fright Knight? I thought he was working for Vlad now. I mean, I don't... I don't get it. I don't... I don't understand uh, what happened to that plot point. I was really curious to see where that was going to lead. And it doesn't lead anywhere. That's kind of disappointing. Um... Or who knows? Maybe it, or who knows? Maybe it does lead somewhere and it's in a, ep, an episode that I just missed or something. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so, good episode. I liked it. Not one of the best, but it's still a pretty good follow-up. Um, yeah, so, I am going to give this one... A 7 out of 10. It's good. Not one of the best, but it's still good. Um, <clears throat> but don't take my word for it. Go watch it. See for yourself. I mean, I just tell you my opinion on each of these episodes, and uh, you guys are the ones who must decide if they're good or bad. You guys, you guys decide that. I'm just stating my opinion. Ultimately, I'm just trying to get more people to watch the show. Um, yeah. 
So, uh, I liked it. 7 out of 10. Uh, I'm going to be putting my next episode up here in a few minutes. So, uh, look forward to that. I will see you then. Take care.